good morning children let us continue our chapter to multiply and divide this is our part 5 which is on page number 25 in your textbook our topic is do not find the exact answer just estimate estimate is telling we should not find the exact amount or the exact figure see if i give you 96 it is very near to 100 or if i give you 223 where it is it is very near to 200 just it has crossed isn't it so we'll take 200 in the same manner we have to do this problem first one the table given below gives the prices of some essential commodities in 2002 and in 2012 so in 2002 he has given some items value and one more list he has given you that is in 2012 exactly after 10 years another value the prices of this commodities we'll see what he has given in the table a about how many times have the prices of each of these commodities gone up in the past 10 years? What did you see here? 2002 and 2012. That is exactly 10 years. The gap. So, in between these 10 years, how much price has been raised? We'll see. Now, here in this table, first column is item and the prices in 2002 and in prices in 2012 and about how many times has the prices increased we have to find out okay children here petrol what was the rate of the petrol during 2002 it is rupees 35 and in 2012 it is 72 look here 35 plus 35 how much will it become 70 so is it not near to it 72 that 70 is so double that is 35 plus 35 two times it has become isn't it so you write down two times okay then we'll say lpg in 2002 it is 181 Whereas in 2012 it is 384. He, what did he tell you in the beginning? He said not to find the exact answer. Just estimate. So here 181. It is uh, very near to 200. So what you will do? You will be taking this as 200. Okay. And here 384. That means after 350 360 370 then 380 after 380 we got 384 okay so this is very near to where it is very near to 400 we'll compare now so this is 200 and this is 400 200 plus 200 two times if you take it becomes 400 isn't it yes or no so, it is right. That is 200 plus 200. We are getting 400. That means two times it has increased. The price of this LPG. So, write down two times. We will see mustard oil. 35 rupees. And here, 100 he has given. Okay, in 2012. In 2002, we got 35, isn't it? 35 plus 35 it is 70 and one more 35 if you add 105 and 105 and in 2002 if you take it for three times because three times i have added 35 plus 35 plus 35 105 whereas in 2012 i have how much 100 rupees that means Three times if I take it is very near to it. 1000, sorry, 105 
it is it not very near to 100 so it is three times write down three times in this blank so three times it has increased milk 12 rupees i got so 12 threes are 36 now here i got it 30 rupees in 2012 so that is also three times then likewise he said to take some two more items i have taken rice I will take it as a 25 rupees per kg during 2002 and now it is 100 rupees that is uh, in 2012. So how much? 25 ones are 25, 25 twos are 50, 25 threes are 75, 25 fours are 100. That means 4 times it has increased. Sugar. I have taken 10 rupees in 2002. 2012 30 rupees. How much it has increased? Yes, it has increased three times. That means 10 into 3, that is 3 times I got 30. 10 threes are 30. Okay. So, like that, we have compared how many times it has increased. We have written here in this column. So, what is your duty? It is write down this heading, multiply and divide part 5 and the date and then write down these two lines after that you write down this table also okay children then after that b you need to write this also now b extend this list by finding out the prices of items of your choice and state about how many times their prices have increased during the period so what i have done I have taken my choice that is rice and sugar and I have entered it. So this question is related to this. I have done already. Now we will go to question 2. Sudha earns rupees 189 in a day and Radha earns rupees 112 in a day. About how much will each of them earn in 30 days? See here what is asking you this is also by estimating we have to find out about how much is telling you about that is just estimation we have to find out. Second solution how much Sudha is earning 189 so Sudha earns 189 that is very near to 200 so I have taken 200. So, for 30 days, she earns is equal to how much she will be earning? 200 into 30 days. As I said, how many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3 zeros. You just put 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. And then multiply this. 2 into 3. That is 2, 3 is 6. I will simply put 6. So, that multiplication of 200 into 30 is 6000. Now, Radha earns 112 rupees. So, we can take little less also because it is very near to 100. I have taken it as 100. And so, for 30 days, how much she will be earning? We will see. 100 into 30. As I said, 1, 2, 3, 0, you put 3, 1, 3. Okay? That means Radha is earning 3000 rupees. Now coming to three question, third one. One meter of pochampalli cloth cost rupees 194. About how much will 79 meters of such cloth cost? So he has given you 194. It is very near to 200. And 79 meters we have to multiply and see the cost of it. Solution 3. Cost of 1 meter pochampalli cloth is equal to rupees 194. Yes, we have to take very nearby now. That means 194 is equal to 200. The number of meters bought, that is 79. What will I do? I will take it as 80. Okay. So, 
what we have to do? We have to multiply this 200 into 80. We'll see. So the total cost is about 200 into 80 is equal to 1, 2, 3 zeros. I'll put it like that only. Now, 2 eights are, that is 16. So, 16,000 rupees I have to pay. That means a not exact amount, that is more or less it will be. Okay. Now, fourth question. The cost of a bag of 5 kg wheat flour is rupees 124. About how much will 42 such bags cost? Fourth solution. The cost of a bag of 5 kg wheat flour is equal to rupees 124. Okay. What I'll do? I'll take it as 100. Number of bags of wheat flour bought is 42. What will I do? I will take it as 50. So, total cost is about, is equal to, this one I have taken as 100, isn't it? And uh, with this, uh, how many bags, uh, that is uh, 42 bags they are taking, that means I will take it as 50. 100 into 50. And now I got three zeros. I'll put it three zeros uh, like that only. Then one five is a five. That means 100 into 50 is equal to 5000. Now coming to fifth question. About how much is the product of 523 and 63? So solution for fifth the product of 523 into 63 will be nearly, that is 523 what I have done, I have taken it as 500 and 63 I have taken it as 60. Okay children, then here how many zeros are there, 1, 2 and here 3. So I can take it as 3 zeros in the product and here what all are remaining? 5 and 6. That means we have to multiply 5 into 6. That is 5, 6 are 30. I will put it as 30. Then here total we have to take. That means 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. That is 30,000. So product. What is the product after the multiplication? Whatever the answer we will get we call it as product. So what is the product of 523 into 63? How much will it be very near to 30,000? So it will be very.